What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome back to Great Panic Knife Reviews. I am so glad that you stopped by, and I hope at the end of the video, you are too. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a fixed blade, and it's not just any fixed blade. It's the uh, Monterey Bay Knives Field Trekker, one of the most amazing fixed blades I've ever had the privilege of uh, <clears throat> using. And I have been using it, like, pretty extensively. Um... But before we get into that, let's go ahead and get this panic dump and beverage check out of the way. Uh, today was a 100% Monterey Bay Knives day for the most part. And I carried the uh, Mini Old Guard. And the Slayback. And, and you get to see the sheath, finally. And this, man, this sheath is freaking incredible that i mean it's just that's some quality leather work right there i mean it's gonna be a little bit beat up because like i said i've carried it every day but and the retention freaking silly man but anyway there's the the knife in question and I also carried an Alox Pioneer and Machine Era markup in a Holiday Leatherworks organizer. I had the Eagle Tech D25C in titanium and a Lone Star Hanks Grateful Dead Hank. As far as the beverage goes, uh, today we're drinking on a little bit of a Voodoo Ranger IPA from uh, New Belgium Brewing Company. And uh, today I want to Send a big old cheers out to a uh, good friend and, and family member, Sue Chicken. Uh, so, Sue, cheers, my friend. All right. Well, that leads us to the uh, moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive on down and get up close and personal with the Monterey Bay Nyes Field Trekker. Alright guys, so uh, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at the Monterey Bay Nyes Field Trekker today. And we'll go ahead and get these specs out of the way so we can get down to the meat and taters of the knife and check out all the fun stuff. But we have an overall length in the sheath of 9 inches. We'll go ahead and take a look at this sheath while we got it out. Try not to get too much glare on it. But yeah, this thing is insanely sturdy. And it's a cool color too. I really dig that color. Uh, and whenever I uh, I was talking about this knife with JB a while back, and uh, the this was one of the uh, the sheath was one of the the big time cool points as far as I was concerned. I mean the whole knife is awesome, but just the added bonus of having a a sheath where you don't feel like you need to have a better one made is pretty stinking awesome in my book but knife wise we're looking at an overall length of eight and a half inches we got a blade length of four and a quarter inches and a blade thickness of three sixteenths of an inch and this blade is coming to us courtesy of crucible particle metallurgies and it is in the 3V flavor. And it is also in the flavor of a uh, hand ground uh, convex grind. There we go. It's a, it's a really pretty convex grind. Yes, sir. Um. The handle material is going to be uh, burlap micarta, 
and I mean this stuff is pretty daggone grippy and I mean you can see the the texture on it so probably could use a little bit of cleaning it's got some gunk up in there uh, it is of course full tank construction there is a lanyard hole and we've got some uh, T8, 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 T8 torque screws holding these handle scales on <clears throat> now what I the information I'm getting is that we have a weight of really blurry camera uh, we've got a weight of 5.8 ounces so let's see how accurate that is 5.78 that's pretty daggum close to 5.8 if you ask me and we've got a weight in the sheath of 8.4 ounces so let's check that out 8.49 yeah right on the money now um, aesthetics wise it's your typical uh, Ray Laconico knife it just this one doesn't fold um, everything about it it's pretty neutral we've got a, a pretty neutral drop point uh, blade shape um, the handle shape is way uh, neutral and I'm gonna tell you what that's one of the, the beauties of this knife is the fact that <laughs> and you we do have a little little swell right there but you just have such a a neutral handle but it feels so great no matter what grip you're using with this guy and I know uh, we don't usually use all these crazy grips I know for me personally um, my I'm typically either in some sort of pinch cut or or like a, a hammer grip um, but it's I mean it's any way you would need to hold this guy it's it's super comfortable now one of the main uh, selling points of this knife in my opinion is the fact that I mean it's it's just a great all-around knife it I mean it it's useful for pretty much anything you would need uh, a knife for fixed blade or folder uh, it's kind of one of those uh, jack-of-all-trades uh, master of none type deals and one of the uh, reasons behind that in my opinion is the fact that we've got this really stocky um, 3 16 blade stock but yet if you check out this distal taper I mean it stays pretty constant all the way down to right here and then it just I mean it tapers down quick and it kind of you know, I mean you see that freaking point man I mean it's 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 stabby, piercy, pokey. Uh, matter of fact, check this out. I mean, I'm not hardly putting any pressure. I'm just putting the, the tip of the blade against the paper. I mean, it pierces right, right into there. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's a great function. On a, on a knife like this because I mean you opening uh, bags of pet food uh, I mean there's several uh, chores jobs activities that you would uh, be doing with a knife that you're gonna need to uh, pierce and this this son of a gun pierces like like we just saw um, and the great thing about this convex grind is it's really really easy to maintain now, I've had this guy for oh I'd say a good month and a half and I have yet to to sharpen it now I do uh, strop it a couple times a week for maybe 10 15 minutes at a time and it has held an edge like a champ and I mean I use it like every day uh, I've cut vegetables at work with it I've you know I've process wood with it uh, open boxes I mean anything you would imagine that you would be using a knife for I've pretty much done it with this guy and I mean it's like there's not a whole lot of you can see a little bit of wear 
some scratches and such on the blade, but you can see some right here. But I mean, for the most part, it is in pretty fantastic shape. It's just very shiny, so it's hard to to video. But I mean, and like I said, I haven't sharpened it. I've used it a heap, and uh, I mean, it's it's gonna cut paper. Now, where it truly shines, in my opinion, is the processing of of wood. We've got a little fat lighter here. I'm going to put a sheet of paper down so we don't get wood shavings all over things we don't want it to get on. And just I'll just show you here. And I mean, I'm not having to exert a lot of effort uh, put a lot of pressure on it or anything I mean it just it glides right through and yeah I mean yeah we're we're cutting with the grain so of course it's going to be a little bit easier but I mean it's just like might as well be butter no problem at all cut guys it will cut like a dream and I mean that that fat lighter smells so good move this stuff out of the way and ba I mean basically the conclusion I've come to with this knife is it's this is the knife that you kind of want to to be stuck with um this is the knife you want on you when that horror of all horrors happens and it's the only knife you have because i mean it's it's going to come in handy for pretty much anything you could hope to use it for um let's see how that you got a little bit of sap and stuff so it's probably not going to cut that great but It cuts. Come on. I mean, that's 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 pretty good in my opinion. When you can, I mean, and of course it's going to catch on this this sap from the fat lighter. It's not going to glide very smoothly through that paper. It's going to catch on that, but it's still going through it. No problem. I mean, there's, I don't see any pro issues with the edge. And I'm telling you, another, another 10 or 15 minutes drop and it'll be, it'll be shaving again. But yeah, this is a, one of the reasons that I carry this every day is because, like I said, I mean, it's it's that backup for your backup type knife. I mean, it's it can be a primary blade, I mean, no problem at all, but it's also one of those if, say, you leave your frame lock folder across the room, but you need it right where you're at and you can't move, this is going to do anything that frame lock folder will do. Um, and, you know... If, Worst comes to worse with that thick uh, blade stock we got there, even though it is, you know, the ultimate sin. I believe you could probably end up prying some stuff with this guy and not really, with, especially with it being 3V blade steel and that stuff is tough. Uh, you're not really going to worry too much about it breaking. You start getting some... Uh, some patina on this guy. Not really. I mean, you're getting high, just little tiny bits here and there. But, you know, with this being 3V, it's not 
uh, necessarily a stainless steel so it is going to patina and not rust if you take care of it uh, but right now we're going to go ahead and cut because i've got some uh, footage uh, where i was using it at work and you know you can see even though it's it's thick blade stock and it is you know a convex grind so it it doesn't swoop in like a hollow grind and it doesn't go you know flat like a flat grind it kind of it's convex and you know you would think <clears throat> it's going to have trouble uh, slicing through vegetables and stuff like that well no i cut some taters up and it did just fine it, it matter of fact it kind of pushes the uh, two halves of the potato apart so the potato doesn't stick to it like it does you know other knives and it doesn't the knife doesn't bog down i mean it just goes smoothly through it so uh go ahead and check this little bit of footage out and uh we'll see you guys on the flip side real quick guys so i hope you enjoyed that footage and i hope uh, i was able to get the point across that it is a very functional knife no matter what uh, task you put in front of it it's going to handle it uh, with ease and you know be you know of course there are tasks where a certain knife is going is going to shine a little bit more than this one is but honestly i don't think uh I think you'd have a little bit of trouble coming up with one single knife that can excel at as many tasks as this knife can. I mean, yeah, you, you have a hollow, hollow ground knife and it's going to perform better at slicing, but when you go head to head, say, with processing firewood and slicing vegetables, in my opinion, I believe this guy is going to, uh, you know, overall total points uh, beat that hollow ground knife um, in like a little com com combination uh, competition. So, yeah, this, uh, as a matter of fact, when, um, when I ended up getting this, I was actually, I had been uh, on, on, on the market for an EDC fixed blade for a while and I just hadn't found one that appealed to me that I'd want to carry every day and and just so happens you know Scott and his bountiful um, generosity not only did he give me you know uh, basically a knife of my dreams you know and as much as it's a Laconico knife it's a Laconico fixed blade of all things and it's a knife I'd been drooling over for several months but he gave me a knife that i can carry every day and use and feel comfortable using it and not worry that i'm going to damage it or destroy it in any way um i mean it, it has been uh just unbelievably useful and a pleasure to use and i know they're in stock so uh, if you guys are looking for you know an edc fixed blade or just a fixed blade to have that is going to be there when you need it. I highly recommend this uh, this knife. Uh, 
and I, they run at $190, which, you know, I'm sorry, but for the materials and, you know, craftsmanship you're getting, I mean, you're getting a hand ground blade, uh, you're getting some awesome uh, micarta, uh, CPM 3V blade steel, uh, beautiful convex grind, an amazing uh, leather sheath, but like I said, I mean, the the retention on this guy rivals Kydex. I mean, I mean that's a leather sheath. There's no snap, no strap. I mean, that, that's just how uh, beautifully formed to this knife this sheath is. So, I mean, all the way around, guys, it's a fantastic knife. And I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, so, you know, if you're so inclined, go out there and grab you one. And, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Because this knife, if any knife does, this knife definitely gets the Great Panic Seal of Approval of one and three quarters thumbs up so uh, that's about all i have to say about this one actually it's not i could probably talk about this knife for days on end but i'm going to cut it short because i know you guys lead busy lives and you don't want to hear me ramble on and on all day about this knife but i do really appreciate you guys stopping by and you are more than welcome to come back anytime and until next time get out there and edc your ass off and do something nice for somebody thanks guys Bye-bye.